So we're writing on a uh, still water design hull, and what we've got on the back is the Pure Outboard from Pure Watercraft. It's uh, an electric outboard that replaces up to a uh, 40 horsepower gas outboard and delivers better responsiveness and acceleration and a lot higher efficiency with a fraction of the noise of what a typical gas outboard will produce. You call it the Tesla of outboard motors. There are other outboard electric motors. What's different about this one? It has much higher power density than any electric outboard that has come before it. The number one selling point is the quietness. So you can go out and have a conversation at normal speed, at normal volume, and the motor doesn't interfere with the conversation. How quickly can you charge this thing and where do you charge it? We can charge on any normal outlet, whether 120 volt or 240 volt. To fill half the battery can be done in as little as an hour, depending on which power source you're using. So what about cost? How does this compare with a regular um, gas outboard? We cost more up front than a gas outboard does, but for a daily boater, it ends up paying for itself in about six years. And over a 20 year period, it costs about half of what a gas outboard does. The typical outboard motor produces about 10 times the cancer-causing pollution per gallon that a car does. There are a lot fewer boats in right. America than there are cars, right. but what, how, how would you compare the pollution from this class of boats with the pollution from cars? If you just look at both the complex hydrocarbon pollution and the nitrous oxide, so the, the pollution that would actually cause health problems, boats, at recreational boats alone in aggregate produce about one-third of the pollution that cars do. Replacing two million outboard motors of this power class with electric. It's like two million vehicles off the road that each produce 10 times the pollution that causes health problems. You spent four years developing this. What took four years and what might prevent somebody else from competing and doing the same thing? It's so difficult to make what we've done. We had to create our own electric motor, not just the electric outboard. We had to make the electric motor that goes inside. We had to design our own gear set inside to take a high RPM, high powered motor and uh, convert it to a low RPM prop, which is the most efficient to use in the water. All of those components put together are so difficult to execute that even knowing what we've done, it, it would be very difficult to replicate.